Alrighty then, good, good evening everybody. It is the living room panner in the house of pans and the house of panning and in my living room. Welcome one and all. I uh, appreciate all the new subs and all the old subs and everybody's taking the time and patience to look through my video. Alright folks, well here I am. YouTube is in no way affiliated sponsoring or endorsing what I'm doing here. This is all me. And tonight... I've got uh, Series 1 uh, C, Series 1 C, right here on my list. And this is my series of how to prospect and recover gold in your living room and on a budget. And I'm trying to save you guys some time and headaches and some money. So, here we go, folks. Tonight's night we're doing uh one c and that is classifiers jet dry snuffer it's basically all your accessories that go with it what you need to go and if you look at my two days previous uh videos on the how to it's named how to there is uh one a which is the pans and the catch pans and last night i did b which is the blue bowl the sluice are a few sluices, buckets, and pumps. And so tonight we're going to talk about accessories. So let me get this out of the way, then we're going to move on. So first thing we're going to show are some classifiers. And folks, these things come in many different sizes, many different shapes, just like bowls do. And you don't need to spend a lot of money. You can get a little three set up or even really, a, in my opinion, all you really need is a tin mesh right here. Tin mesh is all you really, really, really need. If, to get started, you can even use a uh, uh, metal kitchen strainer that is pretty close to about the same size as this. But I have uh, three sets here, a three-piece set, and I got the the 10 mesh the 20 mesh and the 30 mesh all three of them here in a set so i use all three of these but most frequently i use the 10 mesh it's the one that is the most commonly used so that's my set of uh of mesh uh classifiers now that's the the mini ones now let's move to the big ones i've got these big guys i got this set right here there's three of them here, and these are designed to set directly on top of a bucket. And there's three different sizes. There's half inch right here on top, which I have used it. Not that frequently, but I have used it. There's quarter inch right here. And there's 10, size 10 or less. Or it says uh, 18, so it's a little bit bigger than 10. So, and I do use these, but they're a little bit big. Uh, every once in a while when I get a big bag, a four or five pound bag or something, I'll, I'll classify it through these big boys. And it goes much quicker and cleaner. So these are the big guys right here. And again, you don't have to have this to get set up and go. You just need one little mini like this. And you don't even need that. If you buy one pound bags, that's enough. You should be able to just pan it without classifying it at all. So... This is not a necessity to get started, but it is a nice thing to have, and I recommend starting out with your very first one if you're going to buy one, a tin mesh, or like I said, get you a kitchen strainer. All right, next thing I got is a fine mesh bowl here. It's the only one I got that's very fine. It's a 50 mesh, and folks, this thing is fine. Look at that. You can barely even see my hand through it. But this is what I, I, I do all my stuff that I've gone through three times. I'll run it one more time through this classifier and get all my super fine stuff out that I know has got the flower gold in it. So it's, it's a nice little addition to have with your classifiers. So that's, my, that's all I have on classifiers, that right there. And like I say, go to size 10, little mini right there takes care of two or three pounds of pay dirt you can go through it pretty quick in this and let me tell you it works great it's small enough it fits in your your panning pan or whatever you want to use and you just shake it around and it falls right through 
providing your cons are dry. All right, that's another thing, but we're going to talk about that on the next next series. Series two is the types of cons, which is tomorrow night's video kicks off that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some other accessories we have here. And uh, we'll start off with magnets next. All right, I've got just these two magnets. These are the only two I have. And this one right here, I'm not going to lie to you, I've never used it. It came with a set of something or another, and I don't really like the way it kind of sticks like that. It's kind of goofy, but uh, it is a magnet, and I'm sure it's strong. It says 16-pound pull on there, but I got this little micro one right here, a Job, and uh, this is all I need. And, folks, I, at first, when I was playing around with dirts and stuff, I'd, I'd check it and see how much black sand was in it. It's got a little push top on it. It's pretty neat, and it's completely sealed. So, except for around here, it won't. You can't really hurt it, you know. But uh, it was interesting to see how much black sands and stuff was in there, mineral and such that would stick to it. But the bottom line is, it didn't really matter. I'd still pan it, and I wouldn't separate the black sands or whatever stuck to this, the magnetites or what have you. Uh, I'd leave it in there and just pan it out. So I hardly ever use a magnet anymore, but they are fun and, and something to have to your collection when you get a little more set up, maybe. So there's my two magnets. Next, we'll talk about a couple of scoopers. And this scooper came with a set, this big black one right here. And it showed it as being kind of a gardener scooper or something, you know. And it's... uh. It's actually, where's all that gold dirt coming from? Got gold dirt everywhere in this house, man. Anyways, it's plastic, so if you're metal detecting, it probably worked pretty good. So I got this dude right here, and uh, it's pretty neat. But I never use it. Never have once used it. I actually have two of these. All right. Next thing we got is, my, this is my go-to scooper right here, folks. And it's just a little old measuring cup. But let me tell you, a tablespoon, a big tablespoon, a cooking spoon, anything you want to use. You don't even have to have a scoop. You can just pour it straight out of the bag. So a scoop is just something to have. All right, next thing we got, this stuff right here. And I ain't promoting the name of it. It's just, it dries out your dishes real good. But if you put this in your water, just a few drops, it breaks the tension on the water, which, hey, I'm no scientist, I don't understand that, but I know it works. Uh, flower gold and real fine gold, I have seen it float. You put a drop of this in here in, in it, and it will make that gold sink right to the bottom. So you, that's pretty much a must. You're going to have to have this, and you're going to have to have a pan, and you're going to have to have... Uh, some concentrates to get started so a little jet dry a cleanup pan a catch pan and you know some cons all right next thing we got um a bunch of vials and these are probably just a, <laughs> a quarter or a third of the vials that i have and this is just to store your goods in and they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and stuff and a lot of these i bought gold in and were bought when I bought pans or whatever they give them people give these away like nothing you know so you need at least one valve to to take care of your your goods when you find it all right next thing we got snuffer bottles snuffer bottles man this is my go-to snuffer bottle right here I really like this one and I'm not sure why because I got a whole bag full I got like three different sizes of them in here and uh snuffer bottles it's neat the way they work there's an actual the straw right here is a is adjustable you can pull this thing out and make it longer right here or you can keep it shorter and make it shorter and the straw goes inside see so whenever you suck it up you simply turn it upside down and all the gold and the water and everything goes into the bottom of this bottle so when you squeeze it nothing comes out but air and then when you 
release it sucks up your gold and it's got a little bit of an angle on it so you can hold it true this is not a, a necessity that you have to have to get started either but it's a nice thing to have so snuffer bottles they're nice to have but it's not a must so that's it on snuffer bottles they're a dime a dozen you know you can get them just about anywhere if you decide you want one all right next thing we got is my loop and this is a 30 by loop and I use it uh, between this and uh, the magnifying glass that's on my light right here I use this probably secondly and I don't really have I had some handheld ones and I, I think I gave them gave them away in the mystery boxes but these these little things is a worthy investment if you're wanting to look at inclusions and Heck, it's good to look at coins and stuff too with these little things, you know. A 30 by is a good is a uh, good a uh, good size one to get. I I think it works great for me, and uh, and I use it frequently. So a little a little jeweler's loop like this is a good thing to have if you're really wanting to look at detail. And like I said, you could look at it at your coin collection or bills or whatever else you have that you'd like to look at. So those are nice to have, but you could start out with just a, a cheap little Walmart magnifying glass is better than nothing. Now here's my little, I keep this in my desk drawer because this is the bag of stuff that I use the most frequently. I've got a little extra little vowel in there and it looks like some gold dirt in there too. I got a little funnel. I've got a... A little gold pan, some some uh, plastic tweezers. There's my little bucket that I put my gold in to weigh it up, and some tweezers for handling things. I use these, and these are my go-to. I like these because of them being plastic. Uh, sometimes when you use metal ones, the magnetic stuff will stick to the magnetic. I mean to the uh, metallic ones, so if they're not aluminum or something like that, maybe stainless steel, then you're going to have issues with the, the metal ones sometimes. And then I got one little vowel in there. So, I keep all this stuff handy because it's my go-to. I use it frequently. And uh, that's my little go-to package. And then the last two things I got to show y'all is this is a good quality set of of tweezers but again you have to be careful sometimes you'll be using these little tweezers and you'll notice the black uh, hematites and whatever it is the metals in there will stick to it they're kind of magnetic so uh, but they're a nice quality pair they feel real nice so I actually have two of those pair and I have used this pair before but Nah, not my go-to, you know. Anyway, so that's that. And then I got a little scale. And I picked this little scale up at the convenience store. I saw it in there a couple years ago. And I think it's a drug, drug scale, probably. Because it had uh, paraphernalia and stuff around it, you know. And I'm not sure. But for me, it works great. It's a... Uh, Two de it, it's uh, it's two two decimal or two columns past a decimal or what do you call that one hundredths? It 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 measures down to one hundredths if y'all can see that. So it's a pretty nice little scale. I like it. I've used it a long time and it's my go-to. So that's it on my accessories. And so I want to move all this stuff out of the way because we're fixing a pan of gold. And before we do that, let me get everything set up here. Camera get all right. Now, we'll move that out of the way. Now we got this. Get this out of the way. And this is what I this is what I went through last night, folks. Y'all y'all saw the video where I panned out that little bit of that uh, stuff from Juneau, Alaska. 
So we're fixing to weigh this up. We're going to attempt to and do this on a, uh, a towel, which is a bad idea. So I think I'll I'll uh, use this book right here to give me something solid in case I spill anything. And I'm going to put my little boat on there, turn it off. Okay, there it is, tear it out to zero. And we're going to tap this gold in there. And it looks like some of that concentrates got in there too, but not not much. Messing with all that equipment and stuff. Let's see how much that nugget weighs. That's a pretty good little chunker right there. Heck, that's point one, or yeah, point one seven one eight right there, just for that big picker. And then you add in all these little pieces to it. Point three seven, and folks, that was one scoop out of that bag. Pretty nice little scoop, not bad at all, my friends. So I'm gonna get my go-to bag here because it's handy and quick and handy dandy. And I'm gonna show y'all how this works. I'm gonna get my funnel out. We got my funnel right there. Got my little valve right here. I'm gonna set that up right there. Put this little funnel right here. And we're gonna dump this right in there like that. Boom. And there it is, folks. There's my cleanup from last night. Pretty nice. Pretty nice little shinies there. All right, now let's get this out of the way. We gotta hurry. This video is getting on up there. Where are we at? A um, minutes. Uh. Oh dang! 16 minutes already. Shoot. Oh man. All right. Uh, maybe I don't have time to do a panning tonight because I want. I really want to do something else real quick. So we're gonna do something else. We're not gonna pan because this video is getting so long. So I'm gonna make it up to y'all tomorrow. What I am going to do, folks, I'm putting together a giveaway right now. After going through all my stuff, I got, I got plenty extra snuffer bottles. I got plenty valves. I got an extra set of tweezers here. I got one of my little small lipped bowls, my, my uh, panning bowl right here. And uh, I'll throw in some other stuff. I'll throw in one of these scoopers, and uh, I'll make it a, a deal. So... I'm working on, I, I know I told y'all I was talking about doing a giveaway for the gold that I find, but I think this is going to be something better. I don't know if I want to auction this, do a giveaway for it, or what, but I got uh, several items I can put together for y'all, and I'll include like a, a pack of Panners Pay Dirt, and uh, this is going to probably be a $15 shipment as well, so... That's why it's hard for me to just give it away. It's going to cost me, you know, and money's of the essence nowadays. So uh, maybe we'll do like a little mini auction or something for it. And uh, I'll add some more things to it. And, man, 18 and 18 minutes already, guys. It's, it's long enough. I'm going to have to cut this off. I was going to do some black label tonight. I got a little bit left in this jar, but... Maybe I'll do another video tonight, or else I'll do it later. All right, folks. Well, I appreciate y'all. I hope this was a little bit informative for y'all and educational. Uh, please hit the like button. Tell your friends. Uh, the old Panner's putting out some how-to stuff. All right, folks. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Uh, I still got some spots left on my games and my card draws and my envelope picks and all that good stuff. So y'all stay tuned. More fun coming. All right. Later, taters.